Hello friends, this video on continuity and differentiability part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 9. Let's take one more example. Here also we have a function and we have to find whether it is continuous or not. What we can see is that x is equal to 0, this function is changing. So again the bucket which I have to create is, the first thing I told is create bucket. So bucket will be minus infinity to 0, 0 not included, 0 is a separate bucket and 0 to infinity, 0 not included. Three buckets I have got. Let's take case 1, that is c is greater than 0, sorry c is less than 0 is case 1. And c is equal to 0 is case 2 and c is greater than 0 is case 3. So I have three cases. Let's take case one. C is less than zero. C is less than zero. I have to use this function. Fx is equal to x square sine one by x. This is also a polynomial function. So I can say that this is continuous. Correct? Why? So it is continuous. Let's take case B. C is equal to 0. Here we have to decide whether the left hand limit and right hand limit is equal or not. So let's find left hand limit. This becomes limit x tends to 0 minus f of x. That is, that is some. 0 minus 0 0.00001 the square because x square sine 1 by x correct this is almost equal to 0 into sine 1 by x here also it is actually 0 minus 0 0.00 something so this is almost equal to 0 so left hand limit is almost equal to 0 similarly right hand limit is limit of x tends to 0 plus f of x that is 0 plus 0 0.00001 square into sine of 1 by x instead of x it is 1 by 0 0.00001 this is nothing but 0 into sine of something right that is also equal to 0 so if you see left hand limit and right hand limit is equal to same so i can see that limit exists and that value is 0. Now I have to find f of 0. If that is also equal to 0, that means it is continuous at 0. f of 0 is nothing but 0. Correct. So I can see that limit exists at or the function is continuous at x is equal to 0. So continuous at both these cases. The third case, case 3, c is greater than 0. If c is greater than 0, my function is nothing but fx equal to x square sine 1 by x. So this guy is also a polynomial function. So this guy has to be continuous. And we can say that this guy is continuous. Since this guy is continuous here also, what we have seen that this function is continuous at all these three intervals. So I can say that the whole function is continuous because I could not find a single point where this function is not continuous function. Let's take one example where you find all the points of discontinuity of f where the function is defined by this case. So here if you see 0 is the point of contention because the function is changing at 0. So I, same thing here minus infinity to 0 is my first bucket, 0 not included. 0 the second bucket and 0 to infinity the third bucket. Correct? So what I can do is there is I have three cases c is uh, less than 0, c is equal to 0 and c is equal to 0. When talk about first case, I have this one function. So for case 1, I have fx is nothing but sin x by x and this is a continuous function. Why? Because sin x by x is a polynomial function, so it's a continuous function. So ignore this part, this is continuous here. 
at c is equal to zero is my uh, point of contention. So let's find the left hand limit here. There's nothing but limit x tends to zero minus f of x. That is nothing but f of zero minus zero point zero 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 one. Some value just less than zero, and that does nothing but you take this guy when you have to take this equation. Correct. So this will become nothing but sin x by x x tends to zero, and that is nothing but one. This thing we have learned in the limits chapter sin x by x by x tends to zero is one. Now let's take the right hand limit. Is nothing but limit x tends to zero plus here f of x. So I can take a value that is just greater than zero, zero point zero 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 one. So if you take a value greater than zero, you use this equation. So this becomes x plus one. That is zero point zero 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 one plus one. That's almost equal to one. So if you see left hand limit and right hand limit are same, so I can say that limit exists. So limit x tends to zero, f x exists, and that value is one. Now to check whether it is continuous or not, I have to find the value of f of one, and if this is equal, I can say that limit exists. So let's find f of one. f of one is nothing but if you put here for f of zero. Now we're going to take zero. We use this equation. This becomes zero plus one. That is one. So f of zero and this guy f x x tends to zero is same. So I can say that yes, the function is continuous. So here also it is continuous. Third case, c is greater than zero. The function is f x is equal to x plus one. Now since this the function is a polynomial function, I can say it is. Continuous. Correct. So what I can see is this particular function is continuous at all the points. Let's take one more example where we have to find the value of a and b. So the function is continuous. See, going by experience, the questions we have solved here. If you see, we can bucket this guy into. So many buckets because two is the point of contention here and ten is the point of contention here. So minus infinity to two, we can have one bucket. Two is another bucket. Two to ten, we can have one bucket where two and ten are not included, and then ten is one bucket, and ten to infinity is one bucket. So we have these many buckets we have got. Correct. Also, going by our experience, also we can see that these guys will be continuous. We know these guys will be continuous. Why? Because for these guys, we get one polynomial equation. For this range, minus infinity to, I have f x equal to five, it's continuous. For two to ten, I have f x equal to a x plus b, continuous because of polynomial function. For ten to infinity, also if you see, I have got f x equal to twenty one, continuous. The point of contention is two and ten. So if I can. Find the value of a and b such that this guy is continuous at two and ten. That means my problem is solved. So let's take my case one. C is equal to two. C is equal to two. Let me find the left hand limit and right hand limit because the, for a function to be continuous at c, I have to say that f x extends to c is equal to f c. So first, I'll just write here. Limit extends to c. F c has to be f x has to be equal to f c. So the first thing limit should exist. So let me find the left hand limit at x is equal to two. Is nothing but limit x is equal to two minus f of x. That is nothing but f of two minus some small value. That is number just near to two, but less than two. So that is nothing but one point nine 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 nine. If you take that value, f of one point nine 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 nine, what you get? This has nothing but five. Correct, because that's the value you get f of one point nine nine nine. If you want to find the right hand limit, you get limit of x tends to two plus here of f x. That is nothing but f of two plus zero point zero 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 one. Then, if you are talking about two point zero 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 one, 
this is in this range. So that is only what a x plus b. It is a into 2.00001 plus b. And that is almost equal to 2a plus b. Correct. So if my if my function is continuous, left hand limit has to be equal to right hand limit. So I can say that these guys are equal. That means the first equation I get is 2a plus b is equal to 5. This is my first equation. Correct. 2a plus b is equal to 5 is my first equation. So let me write here actually. 2a plus b is equal to 5. This guy is my first equation. Now let's take case 2. I need not find the actual value because I got the equation. I'm just wanting to an equation. I got the equation. So I, I need not find the exact value of left hand limit and find the value of f of 2. Not required because I was interested in getting a relation. I got it. That's all. For case 2, if x is equal to 10, that is c is equal to 10. Here also if you find left hand limit, that will be limit x tends to 10 minus f of x. There is nothing but f of 10 minus 0 0.00001. Correct? Some value that is less than 10. That is 9.9999, something like that. And this guy comes in this range. This is nothing but a into 9.9999 plus b. It's almost equal to 10a plus b. That is my left hand limit. Similarly, my right hand limit. Same thing. Limit x tends to 10 plus of fx. That is nothing but f of 10 plus 0 0.00001. That is nothing but f of 10.00001. The moment I am talking number greater than 10, the value comes out to be 21. Correct? So now, left hand limit has to be equal to right hand limit. So these values have to be equal. So my second equation is nothing but 10a plus b is equal to 22. This is my second equation. So I've got two equations, two variables, solve it. So let me write this equation like this. 2a plus b is equal to 5, 10a plus b is equal to 22. You subtract these two guys, you get 10 minus 2 is 8a, b minus b count is equal to 22 minus, it's 21 actually, right, 21, yeah, 21, 21, 21 minus 5 is 16, so I get a is equal to 16 by 8, that is 2. Once I have got the value of a, I can find the value of b here. So finding value of b is easy. In this equation, let me put this. 2 into a, that is 2, plus b is equal to 5. Or I get b as 5 minus 4, that is 1. So I got b as 1. And that is my answer. I wanted the value of a and b, such that this whole function is continuous. And I got a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 1. With this, the whole function is a continuous function. So what we have done here, we just found that 2 and 10 was a point where the function may have been discontinued. So for 2 and 10, I equated the left hand limit and the right hand limit because the limit should exist at those points for the function to be continuous at those points. And then I got two equations in terms of a and b. I got two equations in terms of a and b, this guy and this guy. Equated those two guys to get a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 2. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.